Hi designers, welcome to SolidWorks Central. In this tutorial, we'll be modeling exercise 10 step-by-step -step to create a clean and professional design. Today's key commands include extruded boss base, swept boss base, swept cut, plane, extruded cut, fillet, and chamfer. We'll explore shortcuts, different techniques, and contour selection methods as we go through the modeling process step-by-step. -step. Let's dive in. Start a sketch on the front plane. Then select the circle tool. Draw a circle centered at the origin. Select the smart dimension tool. Set the diameter of the circle to 80 millimeters. Now let's give it some depth. From the Features tab, activate the Extruded Boss Base command. In the End Condition dropdown, change it from Blind to Mid-Plane. Set the depth value to 80 millimeters. Click OK. Now let's create the elbow section. To do this, we'll first draw the path. Open a sketch on the front plane again. Select the Line tool. Draw a horizontal line passing through the origin and then draw a vertical line. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Select this point, then select the origin and set the distance to 100 millimeters. Set the total length of the horizontal line to 180 millimeters and set the vertical line length to 70 millimeters. Now, select the Sketch Fillet tool. Set the fillet radius to 30 millimeters. Then apply it to this corner. Confirm with a right click. The path is ready. Now, activate the Swept Boss Base command. For the profile, select Circular Profile. The path is automatically selected. Set the diameter to 50 millimeters. Click OK. This part is complete. Click this face, then start a sketch. Select the circle tool. Draw a circle centered at the origin. Select the smart dimension tool. Set the diameter to 60 millimeters. Press Ctrl plus 7 to switch to the isometric view. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Set the end condition to Blind. Set the depth to 20 millimeters. Keep the Merge Result checkbox enabled. Reverse the extrusion direction. Click OK to confirm. Now, click this face, then start a sketch. Select the Circle tool and draw a circle at the center. Select the Smart Dimension tool and set the diameter to 60 millimeters. Activate the Extruded Cut command. Keep the end condition set to Blind. Set the cut depth to 70 millimeters. Click OK. Now, open a sketch on this face. Select the Circle tool. Hover over the circular edge for a moment. This helps us locate the circle's center point. Draw a circle from the center point. Now, activate the Center Line tool. Draw a vertical center line towards the circle's center and draw a horizontal center line. From the Search Commands box, activate the Dynamic Mirror Entities tool. This tool automatically mirrors any sketch entity across the selected center line. Apply this feature to the horizontal center line. Select the Circle tool again. Draw two circles at this point. As you can see, 
The shapes are mirrored automatically. Select the Line tool. Start from this circle's edge and draw a line to this circle's edge. As you can see, it automatically snaps to a tangent. Double-click quickly, this breaks the line, but keeps you inside the Line tool. Do the same here, draw another line tangent between these two circles. If it doesn't work for you, it may depend on your SOLIDWORKS version. In that case, add tangent relations between the circles and the lines. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. This circle's diameter is 60 millimeters. This circle's diameter is 30 millimeters. And this circle's diameter is 15 millimeters. The distance between this circle's center and this one is 100 millimeters. The sketch is now fully defined. Normally, we could trim the excess with the Trim tool, but here we'll use the Selected Contours option instead. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. The Selected Contours option lets us extrude only specific closed regions within a single sketch. Now, in the Selected Contours box, select the closed regions where you want to add depth. First contour, second, third, I'm selecting this circle, fourth, and fifth. Keep the end condition set to blind. Set the depth to 10 millimeters. Keep merge result enabled. Reverse the direction of the extrusion. Click OK to confirm. Now, let's create the inner cut along the path we drew on the elbow connection. In the feature tree, Go to the Sweep 1 feature, select its sketch, and activate the Swept Cut command. In the Profile section, select Circular Profile again. The path is automatically selected. The Swept Cut diameter is 40 mm. Click OK to confirm. Switch to the Section View. Good, let's keep moving forward step by step. Now, open a sketch on this face. Select the Centerline tool. Draw a vertical line starting from the origin. Select this circular edge. Click the Convert Entities tool and it automatically projects the circular edge onto the sketch. Activate the Circle tool. Using this point as the center, draw two circles. Now, activate the Line tool. From this corner point of the circle, draw a vertical line downward. Double-click. Do the same on this corner point. Draw a vertical line downward. Select the Smart Dimension tool. The center line length is 50 millimeters. This circle's diameter is 10 millimeters. And this circle's diameter is 5 millimeters. The sketch is now fully defined. Activate the Trim Entities tool. Make sure the trim type is set to Power Trim. Now, let's create a circular pattern. Activate the Circular Sketch Pattern tool. In the Pattern Center box, select the origin point. In the Entities to Pattern box, select the entities you want to duplicate. Set the number of instances to 3. Keep the Equal Spacing checkbox enabled. Leave the spacing at 360 degrees. Click OK. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. 
Keep the end condition set to blind. Reverse the direction. Keep the depth at 10 millimeters. Keep merge result enabled. Click OK to confirm. Now, let's create the base section. From the Reference Geometry tab, activate the Plane command. For the first reference, select the top plane from the Feature tree. Set the offset distance to 100 millimeters. It's offsetting upward, but we need it to go downward. Check the Flip Offset box. Click OK. Open a sketch on the plane we just created. Select the Circle tool. Draw circles centered at the origin. Make this circle for construction. It will be used as a reference circle. At the top point of the reference circle, draw another circle. Then, draw another circle for the connecting pipe between the upper and lower bodies. This way, we won't need an extra sketch. Select the Smart Dimension tool. This circle's diameter is 100 millimeters. The reference circle's diameter is 80 millimeters. This circle's diameter is 10 millimeters. And this circle's diameter is 60 millimeters. The sketch is now fully defined. Now, let's circularly pattern the small circle. Activate the Circular Sketch Pattern tool. For the pattern center point, select the origin. In the Entities to Pattern box, select the small circle. Keep the number of instances at 4. Keep the other options as they are. Click OK. As we can see, the duplicated circles remain blue. They're not fully defined yet. In our Exercise 9 tutorial, I showed three quick methods to fix this. Here, we'll use a different one. Click the arrow next to Display Delete Relations. Then activate the Fully Defined Sketch tool. Make sure all entities in Sketch is selected. Click Calculate. As we can see, the sketch is now fully defined. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Keep the end condition set to Blind. We don't need to change anything else here. Click OK. We can hide the plane now. Let's create the connection between the two bodies. Go to the Boss Extrude 5 feature, click its sketch, and activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Open the selected Contours section and remove any pre-selected contours. Manually select the inner closed contour. In the End Condition drop-down, we can use three different options. First, up to next. Second, up to surface. Third, up to body. Each option is useful depending on the model's condition and our needs. But in this case, I'll choose up to next and confirm with OK. Open a sketch on the bottom face of the base. Select the Circle tool. Draw a circle centered at the origin. Select the Smart Dimension tool. Set the diameter to 30 millimeters. Activate the Extruded Cut command. In the End Condition section, change Blind to Up to Next. Click OK to confirm. We're almost done with our model. Activate the Fillet command. Make sure the fillet type is set to Constant Size Fillet. Set the radius value to 10 millimeters. Apply it to the desired edges.
click OK. Finally, activate the chamfer command. Make sure the chamfer type is angle distance. Set the distance to 1mm and apply it to the desired edges. And that's how we've completed our model. Let's quickly adjust the scene and assign its appearance. And that's how we've completed our model. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to SolidWorks Central, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to leave a comment. See you in the next video.